It's raining, it's pouring, I'm about to bore you to tears, to tears. I know that's, that's, it doesn't quite fit the rhythm, but whatever. I got a cold, I'm about to sneeze, is my nose red, is my nose red? Mm. Ah, wearing my bunny rabbit shirt, look at the Keith Haring. One of the first artists to die from AIDS, if you don't know who he is, his, uh, his, le his legacy will live on in the form of um, pirated t-shirts from Thailand. <laughs> Hey guys, it, it's, it's Tsuyu. Tsuyu means rainy season in Japan. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the uh, cicada outside. These are cicada, by the way. As you can see, that's a cicada. He's not alive, but um, that's a cicada, right? And if you go outside right now, actually, I made a video for you yesterday, but it got erased because my life sucks. Uh, if you go outside, you'll find holes punched in the ground. It looks like somebody took a rod, a metal rod, and stuck holes in the ground. And that's where the cicada come out, and then they bolt and become these things. And they live for about a week, and then they die. They're called semi in Japanese, which you will learn soon enough, or if you haven't learned already. But anyway, a million things to talk to you about today. Oh, first of all, let's bitch about though. Let's let's bitch a little bit. All right, let's bitch. Some guy. I'm going to talk about haters because a couple hate comments. Uh, let's start with the worst. Okay, the biggest moron this week comes. Moron of the week goes to Gecko25, G E K O U25. Some guy emails me out of the blue, you know, never, never met the guy, never interacted with him. He emails me and goes, look, man, let me just give you some advice. I saw your video on uh, racism and you're too hyper, man. Let me tell you, you got to calm down. Take it easy with the coffee, man. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, what video are you talking to? You know, I've made like six videos, you know, doesn't give me a link or anything. Don't remember being hyper in any racism related videos, um, but the whatever, check his page. He's got nothing. You know, so I leave a comment on his profile. I'm like, I'm always, uh, I'm always curious about people. You know, what are they thinking when they email someone out of the blue, giving them advice? Buddy, I've got 5.5 million video views. I've got over a, a com combined uh, number of 20, to, um, uh, 20, subscribers. I'm on another site, and I'm like the one of the biggest uh, paid partners on another site in Japan. Why do you think that an advice from a no-name guy who doesn't even doesn't interact with me, don't even know, doesn't make videos? Why am I going to pay attention to what kind of, you know, what, what are you, delusional? What are you, you know, delusions of grandeur there? You think I'm going to listen to you? Why should I listen to you? I don't even know you. I wouldn't listen to my own mother. I'm not going to listen to you. So, and he kept emailing me, and I, I don't like emails from people I don't know. Like, email me, I'll email you back, but get to know each other, right? Uh, let's get to know each other slowly. Then we can start insulting each other and giving each other advice. And the first email from you, I don't need some advice telling me to change my whole video making style. So, uh, and well, long story short, I ended up blocking the guy. He kept emailing me, you know, like giving me advice and telling me he's analyzed me and I discovered he thinks I'm insane, right? Which, you know, I could be, but it's still not going to change my video making style. And if I'm insane, why are you bothering with him in the first place? I'm crazy, man. Leave me alone. I'm dangerous. Okay, so. <laughs> And what's the rule where we can't mention morons? You know, I'm going to mention Gecko25. If he's sub to you, watch out. The guy's nuts. And if he gives you advice, oh, you should definitely do what he says. Yo, the guys are genius. Okay, and then, speaking of other people, on my last video, thanks to Betamax, uh, Betamax uh, DC did not realize. Oh, whoa, there's a guy who subbed to me out of the blue. Kind of connected, kind of not. Guy named DC subbed to me. Like, I never, like, wow, he's got DC as a username. Cool. So I check his channel, and he's like, I'm never going to sell this name, so stop bothering me. And I'm like, cool. I like the balls on this guy. Could, could be a girl. I don't know. I like the balls on this girl. I don't like girls with balls, though. I mean, don't take a pro. I'm complimenting you. So, DC, whether you're a girl or a guy, um, I, like, I like the fact that you will not sell that name. Because, you know, I'm, I'm bet, I bet you get a, a pretty penny for that username. DC, that's great. The guy's using it. And he subbed to me. And I'm like, wow. Because I, I checked his sub. He's like, I only have 14 subscriptions. And I'm like, one of them. I'm like, eh. I felt so special because some of you guys here, you know, you're subbed a thousand people. Come on, make me feel special. Unsub from everybody, just keep me. Um, but anyway, so DC, go back, going back to, yeah, so any DC, cool. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Look at this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited because the guy only has two letters. I just, <laughs> no, because he won't sell out for money like most of us. Like, I'd sell out for, you know, you won't give me a break, man. 50 bucks, it's yours. Okay. Then, on the last video, Betamax DC made for me. He didn't know that that Japanese girl was going to be in it, so cool! We kind of trolled him on his own video, and I'm sure he, he enjoyed that, and she, we had a lot of fun doing that. But anyway, that was a good video, and I got lucky on the thumbnail, so I used um, that Japanese girl's thumbnail, because, and I didn't do it on purpose, it just happened to be her thumbnail. Twice, in fact. 
But of course, I get called out on it because some some busybody named uh, whatever his name was. He's like, um, uh, oh, Mr. Bear B says, so silly using a girl as vid picture so people would watch it. Listen, my other video didn't have any girls in it, and people watched that, and I got content. I think I'm. You know, I think I'm allowed a little leeway here. The girls in the video, I think I can use her thumbnail without anybody giving me crap. So anyway, and look, I mean, come on. That Japanese girl, Betamax DC. Where did she get? Hey, you do the math, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> Betamax DC is an ugly mother. You know, he's got, you know, the hair. I mean, come on, guys, hiding his, but you can barely see him anyway. And the Japanese girl is barely, is practically naked, her nipples popping out in most of her videos. So, so of course I'm going to use her. <laughs> Yeah, she's really sneaky, man. If you guys go over to her videos, she sneaks in nipple shots in some of her videos really quick. So I, I, I recommend you watching them. <laughs> okay, so anyway. But Mr. Bear B, who is, is actually a great hater, because he I actually went to his channel, checked it out, and it's all like, it's like uh, anime that he uploaded. I'm like, oh, you're real, you know, original. And he's like, yeah, touche, you got me there. So, you know, he admitted it. He's like a human being that, you know, not that, you know, why, why? I know my fault is that I give humanity too much, um, too much importance. Like the fact that you're a human shouldn't matter, matter that much at this point on YouTube, you know? The fact that you make an intelligent uh, comment, that's the only thing that should matter, you know? Whether you're a human or not, I shouldn't be nice to you. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is humanity is overrated. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, so Mr. Bear B, <laughs> he came back and admitted that I had him, I had him, and he was cool about it. And then I get another comment from another moron. BXXIII is like, I like the other theme song more, you know, the good one. Oh, the good one. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, the good one. Yeah, I like playing the bad. I chose the bad one on purpose. <laughs> of course, he gets thumbed down a lot, but I don't know what he's talking. I don't know what he's talking about, but whatever. Um, either way, I don't care. I'm going to, you know, you could comment on the content. You know, the music is a little too late to change. <laughs> but I like the music. So a lot of people like the music, all the music. So anywho, um, let's go on to what else do I have to talk about? <gasps> okay, Fukuyama, Fukuyama, another another moronic hater. He call he emails me like like uh, in writing in Japanese, bad Japanese English, and he's like, he's like, um, hey man, when's the 101 collab gonna come out? Come on, hurry up, put it up. And it's all written in Japanese, in really really bad Japanese, but I can figure it out because I I've been teaching in Japan. And I'm like, look, calm down, buddy. We did 98, then 99, then 100. You know, it's sequential in order. I'm not gonna just throw 101 up. And he's like, you understood what I said, well. But anyway, for those of you who, who I did, I maybe some of you are confused. I did say the deadline for the submissions were the 20th. It doesn't mean it's going to go up right away. I've got like over 40 submissions. It takes time to edit. And now, oh yeah, I got to tell you the crap that happened this week. Last Sunday, my computer went down. This Mac, was, I love Macs. I've never had a problem, but for the first time ever, I installed something. Uh, I, actually, I was installing this. Adobe Photoshop Elements, which cost me a pretty penny. And for some reason, it freezes after the installation and nothing works, right? Now, if, quick hint for those of you who have Macs. I have a laptop and I learned this trick um, after trial and error and, and researching a lot. I tried everything, you know, I tried fixing it the old standard way and all these buttons you press and, you know, started up by pressing these buttons at the same time, blah, blah, blah. Accessing the FSCK, that didn't work, which is really weird. But anyway, get a FireWire connected to the broken Mac or the Mac that won't turn on and a Mac that works. Turn off everything. Turn on the Mac that you're going to use to access first, and then holding the T on the broken Mac's keyboard, turn on the broken Mac. Uh, I'm saying broken, but you know, um, you know the one with the the one that you can't get into, the one that won't turn. The OS system won't work on. And if you do that, you will be able to up to um, the hard disk of the broken Mac will appear on your other Mac, and you'll be able to access it and look in it and erase crap and you know fiddle with it, which is really cool. So I did that. And although I have Time Machine, which is a great application if you have Macs, you get a get another hard drive and, and it automatically backs up everything. I had Time Machine, uh, but I never used it before. So as a precaution, I used other hard drives and I downloaded all the other crap onto uh, the other hard drives, right? Of course, this takes a long time. And on one evening that I'm doing this, because this is like, remember, this originally happened Sunday. I'm trying to fix it normally. Monday, Tuesday, I'm kind of busy. Wednesday night, I start uh, doing this up, you know, back... Uh, um, um, backing up right and the fish tank that i have at the house starts leaking in the middle of the night right like at 11 p.m so of course i happen to have believe it or not another fish tank lying around <laughs> so we transfer all the water in the fish to the other fish tank in the middle of the night and uh, you know that but then basically it ends up taking two more hours out of my time and um boom that's it so then the refrigerator starts breaking right 
So we start, uh, I, I spent all Sunday, you know, using, going to the store, using my time, buying a new refrigerator. Got a new refrigerator, 1,500 bucks, 10 year warranty. Um, pretty big, taller than me, 60 centimeters uh, wide. In case you guys are wondering about prices, I'm always curious about how price, what are, what are refrigerators cost in the States these days? I have no idea. But anyway, that took up Sunday. Oh, and then after reinstalling all my crap on the Mac, I forgot to update the iMovie. So after making a movie for you yesterday outside in the in the brief moment when it wasn't raining, I went outside and took a walk with the dog and filmed it, you know, Sean Bedlam stuff. And, um, or street English stuff for you guys, I guess. But, um, you know, I, I lost that video because I had to... My, my, my iMovie would not work at all, no matter what I did. Everything except the iMovie worked. So what I had to do is I had to use the, use the um, time machine again and back up everything again last night. So finally, I updated the iMovie and everything's fine, and you're now getting a video from me. <laughs> but I did learn how to do um, green screen, so I hope I'll try it on here, and I'll probably do a tutorial on how to do green screen on iMovie. My iMovie's a great, great, great machine, but... Anyway, let me see. I've had a cold all week. Can't shake it. Uh, I feel like my nose is red, <laughs> sniffling. Things are kind of going good, but you know how things are get get better in life, but they get better really slowly, and it makes you impatient. That's kind of how my life is right now. Things are just slightly improving every day, just a little bit, but I'm kind of impatient, you know. But I did learn how to do green screen, so I'll be doing a tutorial on that. The videos are coming. Thanks a lot, always, for the support. And for some strange reason, you guys like really long videos, so here's your long video for the week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, and I privatized a couple of the um, old drama videos because I'm not going to be doing those anymore on this channel. And, you know, it was great that I did the, uh, I made the Gimme Drama Man because I have no um, desire to make those videos anymore. Well, I do, I do, I do. I have a desire, but I'm just, I'm really too busy right now. This channel takes priority over that. Oh, yes, I forgot. A um, couple other things. Help Me Find Parents, Ken Tanaka made a great video called I Am Robot and Me Chine Review and Hiko Simon conspired to get it featured and it worked. So congrats, if you guys haven't seen it, it's called I Am Robot, Ken Tanaka, uh, Ken Tanaka's channel called Help Me Find Parents. Great, great video. Really, one of the, mo one of the best videos I've seen on YouTube, period. Um, and uh, we, can, we can work together to, get, to help each other, which is one of the great things about this channel. Also notice on my profile page that I've changed all the people I'm watching to almost all of them, except myself, I'm, you know, I'm still promoting myself because, you know, the stronger I get, the more I can help other people. It's my, my theory or my rationalization. But the 14 other people who are not me, there's 16 people, two are me. Give me a bone dog, give me a break, man. Uh, the 14 other people are not partners. They're not partners and they're small uh, J vloggers. I've also unsubbed from anybody who's not Japan related. So, and I've left my subs open. So if you're interested in finding someone who's in the Japanese vlogging community, check out the people I'm subscribed to. I think there's less than 200 now. I was sub to over a thousand, and you can find a Japanese community there. And if you know anyone, I, I will sub basically to anyone who's active and makes or makes Japan-related videos. Um, and um, hopefully that'll help you guys find those people. Anyway, that's it for today. Just big, 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 big major update. And I'm gonna go drink a lot more coffee and make more crazy videos to annoy people. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.